Hey there! I have received many, 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 many requests to review this pen. And it doesn't appeal to me at all. But the people have spoken, and I gave one of these pens as a gift to my dad because he doesn't like fountain pens at all. And so I thought, well, if I do this, I may as well review it. So, you know what this is. It's a Parker Ingenuity 5th generation, 5th writing, 5th instrument of death, whatever. Um, it comes with a little instruction sheet on, on how to use it. Um, actually, it's just a generic thing on all kinds of pens that Parker makes. That's great. Uh, and then this is the pen. They come in a bunch of finishes. I don't know which what, what this one is called. Um, so, I, I don't know. Okay, here's the pen. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, now for those of you who don't know what this pen is all about, it's a whole new writing concept developed by Parker. Uh, and it says, innovative design. I'm reading this from the website. Welcome to the new generation in pens. Innovative and modern. Parker Ingenuity intuitively adapts to your writing style in seconds for an effortlessly smooth, easy glide feeling, thanks to the latest Parker 5th trademark technology. The dynamic standout design is right on trend, making it the perfect accessory to travel with you anywhere. Okay, um, so they say on the website, design with Parker 5th technology and build using genuine innovations. Parker Ingenuity offers the writing comfort of a fountain pen with spontaneity and simplicity. Um, well, let's, let's put that to the test. Um, because these are some pretty bold claims we got going there. So... This is one of the pens, this is one of the finishes, there are many finishes, there are more gold colored ones, rose gold colored ones, etc. And this is a chrome colored one that I like because that's kind of the design that my dad likes. The cap is very reminiscent of an I am cap. Um, at the top of the pen you have this finial, um, which as you can see is highly reflective, that's my web cap. I'm sorry Stephen, I'm afraid I cannot let you do that. Here we have the clip, obviously the Parker arrow, and then some detailing there on the center band. Uh, let me see, sorry, it says Parker, it's a little hard to read probably, and at the end it has a year code. Okay, then we have the barrel, which has the same detailing as the cap has, end of the barrel tapering some nice fuller grooves and then some more reflection. Okay, now the big deal with these pens is of course the nib tip. I don't know what, it's not really, it's, it's either or. I would say this has a tip, this pen. So here you have the section of a nice brushed chrome and then you have the tip uh, which looks like a fountain pen nib but it isn't. And then here you have the fake feed and the little writing tip. Okay, so um, what's so fancy about these pens? I forgot to show you the clip, huh? Well, the clip is springy. It's a good clip. Um, so basically, it's not a fountain pen, but it's not a fine liner either. It is a fine liner with a fake nib on top. Um, because that is the only thing I see. I don't see anything about this that makes it different from a fine liner, so I don't know what is so innovative about this pen. When you open it up, um, be careful because the barrel pops off and that's um, because, sorry for the noise, yeah I can't get it out. There is a, a little spring in there which actually popped out on me at some point so be careful you don't lose it because that actually keeps the refill in place. Okay, there you have that refill which you sort of twist out. You, you, you can well, I drop it. You can push it in, and then it makes this sort of 
half turn if you don't push it incorrectly, which is kind of nice. Uh, it says Parker 5th, and you can buy these, and they're pretty expensive, relatively, I think. Um, but it's it's that's the refill. Made in Germany, ParkerPen.com, black and medium. I believe you could also get these in fine. I'm not sure about broad tips, but I, I haven't looked into it that much. You know, my father likes a medium, so... Um, so there you have it. Let's reassemble this. Where's the pen? Here's the pen. Um, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I'm I'm trying not to sound biased or or um, nasty or anything. But I mean, really, I've I've tried this pen. To me, it feels in everything like a fountain pen. I remember when this came out, there was the claim that it gives line variation. Well, I don't see it. Um, so you, you basically buy a fine liner with a fake nib. That's it. Okay, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, what I like about it is the design is pretty cool. It's definitely a step up from your standard ballpoint or your cheap roller ball. I mean, it, it looks nice. It feels nice. It's pretty well balanced. It's it's not a small pen. Um, I think it's 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 fairly well made. Uh, so that that is definitely something you could expect from Parker. It it doesn't feel cheap. And it doesn't feel poorly made. Um, I kind of like the balance, even when posted it's alright, it's a bit top heavy because the cap unposted I think it makes for a nicely balanced pen, at least this particular model, so that's nice. What do I not like? Well I don't really see the point in putting a fake nib on a pen and then saying it's innovative writing technology, but maybe that's just me, that's probably why I'm not a marketeer. Um, that's pretty much all I can say. I mean, the writing experience is decent. It took me a long time to get this refill to write without doing a sort of dry railroading type thing, which is writing just an outline. Um, but it, it, I guess it writes now. Um, as I said, refills are not super cheap. Um, and clearly you cannot fill this from an ink bottle, so you will need to buy those refills and hope that, for example, if you go on a journey, you, you are in a place where they can actually you can actually get them if you run out. Um, so I would say those are some cons. Now let's take a couple of measurements. Capped, it's not a small pen. Capped, it's about 138 millimeters. Uncapped, it's about 124. Section diameter is the narrowest point about 10 millimeters and at the widest point just a little over 10 millimeters so not a big difference okay as to weight I, uh, I forgot to pull out my scale I'm sorry gotta do that now um, so as to weight this is an all metal version uh, so you may expect that to be a little bit heavier than some other versions it's 34 grams. So there you have it. I think the really big test is going to be seeing this pen in action. So that's what we're going to do next. I hope this was useful so far. And I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here we go. Writing with the Parker 5th technology. Ingenuity. Okay, let's start with our famous pengram. Writing is smooth, I have to admit that. There are regular skips. Uh, could be the paper, could be the refill, could be a host of things, I guess. Um, let's do a bit of fast writing. Okay, um, now interesting thing, when you write like this with the refill perpendicular, so the whole pen perpendicular to the paper, then it writes perfectly well. So unfortunately I don't, I don't actually write like this, otherwise it would be a, per a perfect pen. As to wetness. It 
it's fast drying ink they put in there I think because it, it's not particularly wet as to line variation you can squeeze a bit harder and then you will see some line variation but it's not extremely pronounced um, although here you do actually see something so perhaps I was a little bit too fast in saying that there is no line variation possible because uh, you definitely can get some out I would say um, and that is pretty much it the fifth technology would I buy one of these for myself I don't think so but it's not a terrible pen either it is what it is and it's uh, I'm sure this will appeal to some people and that's what's important so there you go ingenuity hope this was useful and uh, I'll see you later guys bye bye